Good morning. This is just a quick video on what I did to turn these scraps into this sheep shelter. First up, I cut the four main posts, the longer two for the front and the shorter two for the back of the shelter. A chainsaw would be great for this, but you have to work with what you have. Then I assembled both of the sides. I used long beetle screws and I pilot hold the timber because I did have one shear off in the hardwood. I wanted a decent pitch for the roof so I made the front posts a foot longer than the back. I designed this in a way that would be easy to disassemble and reassemble because it's easier to have the kids safe in the yard opposed to somewhere in the front paddock and there is no way you could lift this thing in one piece. I covered in the sides with pallet wood palings. I had to cut and pull apart more pallets because I ran out again, but they are free so it is worth the effort. And then I removed all the nails. The back palings run vertical and once complete becomes one solid piece that is easy to carry and comes off by removing eight bugles. The size of the shelter was determined a lot by the sizes and lengths of the scraps. For example, the length of the roof, two of the corrugated iron offcuts were already that length and the other was just a little too long and wide so I only had to cut one of them. My wonderful husband made a sheet sign for me using his Dremel tool and I just threw some brown paint in it and added a bit of a border. I also added a bit of a fascia to cover the ends of the corrugated iron. Instead of just doing a straight cut and butting them together, I decided to waste some time and do something fancy, but I don't think the sheep even noticed. Someone found the leftover paint that I thought I put out of reach. We put all the sections on the back of the ute and drove it up the front. Reassembly is really quite quick as you can see, just imagine if I actually sped the footage up. This comes apart into eight separate pieces, two sides, a back, three sheets of corrugated iron, the front beam and the fascia, nine pieces if you include the sign. Well, that was the how to build a sheep shelter video. If you liked this video or found it somewhat helpful, then give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give me a thumbs down if you like, but either way, I hope I see you next time. Bye for now.